Good morning, friends. We are on day two of our little two to three day trip long weekend in Cancun. Um, we just woke up a little bit ago. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning, maybe 11.30. Uh, we slept in until 10.30. It was much, much needed. We um, called it a night last night at about 12.30 and came home, pulled blackout curtains closed and crashed. It was super fun last night. We went to Fat Tuesday. Uh, yeah, it was just really, really fun, really nice and relaxing. It was nice to get out, it was nice to dress up, it was nice to do all those things. Um, and yeah, so today we are gonna go get some coffee, we are gonna go get some breakfast, and then we are gonna hit the beach. This is good. This is real good. It's the new Frappuccino. I'll put the name down here because I don't remember what it's called. It has espresso balls in it, whatever those are. Yeah, these are like almost like tapioca balls that you will find in um, the smoothies from like Chinese food restaurants. Mm -hmm. But yeah, these are like espresso and they're real good. Yum. Yeah. And I just got a iced caramel macchiato with coconut milk and an extra shot. It's delicious. The coconut milk here is totally different than the coconut milk back yes, in the States. it is. Delish! So, update. It's a caramel coffee spear frappuccino with coconut milk. Preferred way to get around Cancun is to actually take the city bus. It's a dollar or 20 pesos each way. Uh, they'll pick you up anywhere. They'll drop you off anywhere. Just be forewarned that they fly. They go so fast to get you from point A to point B. came to McDonald's El Isla. We couldn't figure out what to eat and McDonald's always solves all of our problems and we've never eaten at a McDonald's in Mexico. So we decided to try it today and what do we got? So we got the barbecue crispy sandwich burger. It's a double burger. The bacon, crispy onion, and two beef patties, barbecue sauce. Oh, man. Not like they do it in the States. <laughs> yeah, the food was super hot when I pulled it out of the bag, like blistering hot, and you could see them making it fresh in the back. It was a smaller kitchen, and they like put their heart and soul into it. Very good. Very and the good. fries are super crisp. Okay. I'm going to show you the fries over here. The fries are like well cooked. You're not going to get any soggy fries here. And one of the greatest parts is the drink that comes with the combo is actually a 30 ounce drink and we love light ice in all of our drinks and they automatically do light ice. I just got a double quarter pounder with cheese that I'm actually gonna have to deconstruct because of my braces but super hot and it looks pretty fresh. We're about to try the cream cheese pie. As you can see this is deep fried unlike in the states where they're baked. Small pie. Break it open. About like the average size of America's, right? Yeah. Nice cream cheese. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Mm. Mm. It's yeah. yeah. Is it like melty cream cheese? Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. You're going to go back in and buy three more? <laughs> no. I had to wash the pan. <laughs> but it's legit. 
Good flavor, good crust. Good amount of filling. Filling still warm. If you had the pie still sitting in the bag. Good. Thanks. I'm excited to try mine now. Yep. But yeah, you'll love it. Got us. Our favorite restaurant at La Isla, Hooters. Like the best Hooters we have ever been to. Which is right on the lagoon. The lagoon with crocodiles. We've seen crocodiles in here, so they are a thing and they do live in here. I personally can't believe people take speedboats and snorkel in here because crocodiles. But to each their own. I'll take the sharks in the ocean any day. Now we are back in the room, freshly showered after spending a couple of hours on the beach, all ready to go to a late dinner. It's like what, eight o'clock? Yep, eight o'clock. Eight, 12, and we're ready to head out and go get some food at a new restaurant that we've never ate at. So see you there. started the meal off with this mixed seafood ceviche and it was delicious. All the seafood was perfectly cooked, it was plump, it was juicy, and it had a hint of olive oil which made it really rich and almost luxurious. Um, we were at an Italian restaurant here in Cancun um, so it wasn't any surprise that there was olive oil in it but it was a really nice flavor profile to add to the ceviche. Highly recommend. Real good flavor. Oh, I probably can't hear anything at all. Real good flavor. I got the stuffed shrimp. So these were big shrimp that were stuffed with cream cheese and bacon, battered and then deep fried, and they were served with the chipotle dipping sauce. They were delicious. They were more than filling. I think they were on the appetizer menu. You could totally do them as an entree. That's what I did them as. And especially with another appetizer, more than enough food. Totally recommend. Sean got the Camarones El Coco or the coconut shrimp. It comes with the mango dipping sauce, um, which we actually thought the mango dipping sauce was on the side of the plate. It's not, it's actually in the coconut shell. Now these are some of the best coconut shrimp either of us have ever had, especially paired with that sweet dipping sauce. 
delicious. Take a bite? Where do you know how it tastes? Oh, there might be a different flavor to it. Right, might be a different flavor profile next door. Big old bite. Man, ain't nothing like a twist that just came from Mexico. <laughs> Bon appetit, y'all. Mm -hmm. Covered in chocolate and sprinkles. Man. Right. Thought I would do a little Rome tour. We just have a uh, double, uh, double queens. Um, just a regular city view. Nothing special. Um, I think it was like $100 a night. So you have the safe, luggage rack, little closet, hangers, ironing board, sliding door. So it's off to your left when you first come in. We have some drawers, uh, space to set some stuff. And you have a mini fridge. If you aren't part of the all-inclusive plan, uh, anything you use out of the mini fridge will be charged to your card. Um, but then you can also use the uh, refrigerator with your own drinks and everything. Uh, you have a full length mirror, which is nice because the last time we were here, we did not have the full length mirror and that was in like the King Suite Ocean View room. TV, table, we'll go to the view in just a minute. Then you have the double beds. Say hola. Hola. You got the nightstand. The beds were okay, they weren't. They were kind of hard. Not my first preference, but it's $100 a night, so whatever. <laughs> Got the phone, the old school phone, um, everything's, you know, pandemic friendly. It's all wrapped and you have this that you can do um, room service on, uh, make reservations, um, that kind of stuff. And we'll go over here. Have the area to get ready. Um, Big old mirror, which is very nice. You have this one for the ladies that like to get ready, but the little um, light up thing doesn't work on it. Blow dryer, didn't try it, but the last time I did, and it, you know, it's your, it's the uh, blow dryer that you normally get in the road, the super loud squeaky one that you're worried about your hair getting sucked into. Um, you get your toiletries that are also all pandemic friendly. Sean used some body wash and said it was hotel body wash. Um, you got the towel hooks, and then you come in here. Got the shower, has the nice door. This rain shower head is amazing. We both love it. It's very, um, it's high water pressure. It's super hot water. Um, it's chlorinated water for sure. You can smell that. Um, but the rain shower head is super, super nice. So this is always nice to come back to after a long, hot, sweaty day outside. And then you just have the toilet area. And we'll shoot back over here and show you what our view looks like. So you got the city view which is actually not that much city to it because you have the ocean view as well. This is another uh, tower you can stay in, the Altitude Tower. And that has a special like pool area and like a premium area um, that you can go to in the hotel. And then, yeah. And then the Caribbean Sea, and if you go all the way out there, you see East Lima Harris. And then a nice little balcony. Whoops. Couple chairs, little table. Perfect for what you need it for. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the vlog, please give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more travel vlogs. Until next time, friends, enjoy our reunion with Snoopy.